Hi, I want to talk to you about the LM317T. This is one of them. And something you should know about this chip. It gets really, really, really hot if you put too much voltage into it. So the way it works, you've got voltage in on this pin. This is the adjustment pin. And the center pin is the voltage out pin. But this connector here is also the voltage out pin. So that means that you can get burned more ways than one. N-V-A-D-J. This one. This one, this one, and this one. So you can get shocked and you can get burned if there's too much voltage coming in here. So the way you avoid both situations is you use a heat sink plus an isolating kit. And that's actually what I want to show you is the isolating kit. So let's talk about the heat sink. Heat sink is this is a fairly big one, very nice. It's got a threaded hole there, so you should just be able to screw your IC to it. And um, it will dissipate a lot of heat, but if you screw it directly like this, there's a very big chance that you make your heat sink whatever your plus volts is, which can run the risk of shocking people. So what I have here is a isolating kit. The isolating kit is composed of a piece of mica, plastic insulator, screw, and a bolt. Bolt's not necessary because we have a threaded hole here. So here's how you use it. You insert your spacer like that, and then you put the mica on the back put the screw through them both and now you have a transistor lots of voltage regulator that is completely isolated electrically from the heat sink and then you just screw it into the heat sink there we go Tighten that down. Okay, and then straighten this all out so it sits properly on the heat sink. <laughs> now this is a LM317T voltage regulator, which means you can adjust it simply by changing I'll put it here I guess. Voltage in here voltage out here, adjustment here, and this is no longer touching the heatsink at all, which means that this no longer carries a voltage, and that's the purpose of the voltage isolation kit.